PHP 8.2 is right around the corner. It has features like read-only classes, standalone true, false, and null types, disjunctive normal form types, that's a mouthful, we'll talk about it, constants and traits, and more. Let's take a look. First are read-only classes. They are only a shorthand for making all properties of a class read-only, which turns out to be a very common use case. Next up, are sensitive parameters where you can hide or redact data from stack traces. Now sometimes stack traces attached to exceptions can contain sensitive information, uh, database credentials for example. It's not the best idea to send that data over the wire to an external service or even logging that sensitive data on your own server might be a security risk. And so PHP 8.2 adds an attribute to mark function parameters as sensitive parameters, essentially erasing their values when they are added in a stack trace. It's a useful feature that I think many frameworks in particular will use. And this release also brings improvements to PHP's type system. We can now use null, true, and false as standalone types. Now, these standalone types were mainly added to further improve our type system's completeness, as well as address some edge cases that couldn't be solved prior to this change. For example, during inheritance, where you'd like to specify that a function only returns null instead of either a string or null, as the parent had declared. Another type system addition are disjunctive normal form types. And that's a difficult word for saying that we now can combine intersection and union types. The only rule is that whenever you use an intersection type combined with unions, you'll have to wrap the intersection type in brackets so that it's clear which type gets precedence. Its most common use case will be making intersection types nullable. That's something that we weren't able to do before. Something you might have run into in previous PHP versions is that you weren't able to use constants in traits. PHP 8.2 adds support for that. Now there are two remarks to make. First is that you cannot reference a constant using the traits name. You'll always have to refer to the class where the trait is used. And second, you can reference a constant within a trait by using self, static, or this. There's a new random number generator that fixes a range of issues that the previous one had. This one is more performant, uh, more secure, it's easier to maintain, and it doesn't rely on global state. There's a new class called randomizer, which accepts a randomizer engine. Now you can change that engine depending on your needs, for example, to differentiate between a production and testing environment. Finally, let's discuss deprecations and breaking changes. PHP is an evolving language, so naturally some things change or break throughout its development. And let's take a look. First and foremost, dynamic properties are deprecated. I've got a whole video about the reasons and how to deal with this application. I'll leave a link in the description. Next, the UTF-8 encode and decode functions have been deprecated in favor of MB convert encoding. Then there are some changes to the return type of these two date time methods. It's an important change for better static insights, but unfortunately it means that libraries extending date time or date time immutable and who override these methods, uh, they will have to make some changes. Next, the string to lower and string to upper functions are both made locale insensitive. If you want locale sensitive conversion, you can use MB string to lower or upper instead. And that is about it. What are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and maybe check out this video next. I'll see you there.